Hey Akiks, welcome to another video. So in this video, we are discussing about the knockout match. As you can see, this particular page is filled with a lot of markings that are given. I have explained this in my previous video. If you haven't yet watched this video, I will link it up here. Please watch that one before you see how to solve the question. So without much further ado, let's get right into the video. So let us solve some questions so you can apply what you have understood. Now, what are they saying in this particular question? They have shown you a cassette which is designed to create an estrogen receptor knockout mice. So they want to knock out the estrogen receptor. Very good. So this must be the knockout. So they have added the gene of interest that they want to knock out. Okay. And along with that is a neomycin resistance gene. Very good. And SOH, as they have said in the key down below, is the site of homologous recombination. So recombination will happen and this particular gene that is in between will get integrated. Right. We have discussed it previously. Whatever is between the homologous region, only that is going to get integrated if it is a homologous recombination. So if it is a homologous recombination or we say that it is a site specific integration then only only genes between the between the site of homology or the homologous sequences will be integrated right so now if let us say there has been homologous recombination you will have in your final this gene of interest and no r right now if there is non homo if there is not site specific recombination if it integrates it any improper place then you will have all of this all of this means you will have the gene of interest you will have neomycin as well as you will have the tk because the recombination must have taken place at some position other than these so therefore you will have the tk okay now what they are asking you is what would ensure proper recombination has taken place that means the first condition if proper recombination has taken place then it should have the cells cells should have what it should have the neomycin resistance gene very good and it should not have the tk gene because this is outside the site of homology. So if it has the neomycin gene, it will be able to resist, it, resist the compound G418. So it will have resistance to G418. And if it is TK minus, then also it will be resistant to GAN cyclovir because presence of TK will lead to sensitivity to GAN cyclovir. So let's see the first option. It says cell will survive when cultured pre in presence of only G418. It's not true, right? It will survive also when there is GAN cyclovir. Cells survive when cultured in presence of G418 followed by GAN cyclovir, which is correct. It should survive in presence of both positive selection by G418 and negative selection for GAN cyclovir. So this is a correct option. Let's look at the others. Cells die when cultured in presence of C418. Not true. It has a new R gene. Cells survive when cultured in G418, but die when cultured with Gensiclovid. No, this is the case of non-specific integration. So we are sure that option B is a correct answer. For solving this, you'll get four marks in next. Okay, let's move on to our next question. It says to make a knockout mouse for gene A. Okay, you have the gene A and you have to make a knockout. Fine. You have made a construct. Okay, that consists of the mutated gene A. So, right, right, gene A is mutated and two additional markers. One is for the neo R, which is placed into the coding region of gene. Very important. So, neo R is placed in the coding region. So basically what they mean is the homologous regions 
are surrounding both the neomycin resistance gene as well as the gene mutated gene correct that's the coding part and the other tk is placed outside okay so outside this you will have the tk this is a construct you introduce the construct into the embryonic cell okay and try to identify that have the homologous recombination so we have to identify now what kind of cell should be looking for see if you want homologous recombination that means how it is going to occur only there will be homologous recombination at this regions that means your cells should have the gene a mutated copy and the neomycin resistance but not the tk right so this should happen so your cells will have neomycin resistance gene however they will not have the tk if they have neomycin resistance gene then neo r should be plus so these two are straight away not our option and it should not have the tk so tk minus so this is the section that you are looking for this is the answer right now let's go on to our last question here it looks like a lot of wording but most of it is what we already no okay so all this we know that neomycin has uh, confers g418 resistance tk gives sensitivity to ganciclovir okay so what are they saying they have targeted a mouse a, a gene for knockout and they are carrying out homologous recombination now you have to see where what gene is if neomycin was inserted within the exogenous dna and considering that both homologous and non homologous recombinations took place which of the following experiment statements is not correct okay so what is not correct the construct again remains the same if they are not explaining much say so you have the gene a here then you will have the neomycin resistance gene then the homology sequences here and then outside somewhere you will have the tk gene so if there is a proper homologous recombination your cell should be neomycin resistant and it will not have the tk gene so they are resistant to both g418 and gan if there is site specific homologous recombination so now they are asking you which of it is not correct so let's see first statement cells with non homologous insertion will be sensitive to ganciclovir correct if there is a non homologous insertion that means it is outside these genes so tk will go in if tk go in the cell will be sensitive to ganciclovir so this is actually a correct statement non recombinant cells will be sensitive to g418 and ganciclovir yes if the cell has not gone undergone any type of recombination then there will be no neomycin resistance gene at all so this is also correct homologous recombination will ensure that cells are resistant to both ganciclovir and g418 which is absolutely correct we just said it finally the last option says homologous recombinants will grow on g418 correct it will have neomycin r but will be sensitive to ganciclovir why it should be resistant right because it doesn't have the tk gene so definitely option b is the incorrect statement and our answer so hopefully these questions were helpful and you understood how to solve these these have come for four marks in your csir net if you understood this you like it please comment below and let me know what else you want to see that's it from me for today i'll see you in my next video bye